Greetings fellow tank commanders, in this video I'm going to be showing you a game that I played in the Slapjack. This is a tier 7 mercenary tech tree heavy tank with regular matchmaking. The game I'm playing is a standard battle on El Alamein with tier 7 as the top tier and 3 artillery on each team. For this game my tank is equipped with a gun rammer, enhanced gun laying drive and improved ventilation. I am using a mercenary crew which has 3 crew skills and perks. And I am platooned up with Cowboy Arizona who is in a mighty minute band. To start off the game, we're going to be fighting along the water where there's some nice ridgeline opportunities, and we are absolutely petrified to get hit by that trio of arties. Make sure to keep an eye on Cowboy Arizona here, he has a pretty crazy game. The Slapjack and Minuteman make a pretty funny combination. They can both use ridgelines in a similar way. The Slapjack has more medium tank-like qualities than the Minuteman, faster shooting and more mobile, while the Minuteman is a true heavy tank. The game is not going in our team's favor, so Cowboy Arizona and I are getting more aggressive before that game gets completely out of hand. We were quite passive off the start there and it seems the game is getting away from us. Gone to buy APCR shells to get the extra penetration I need to deal with these heavy tanks head on. Slapjack doesn't tend to have a lot of reliability when dealing with heavy tanks frontally. I'm thinking that T34 100 is regretting charging me like that. The Slapjack's mobility and good damage per minute makes the perfect counter for moves like that. Somehow we've managed to keep this a close game, but now I've got to start rushing back towards our base so the enemy doesn't capture it. Wow, that was almost a direct hit on the back of my tank. I could have taken huge damage there. Now this isn't an already safe position here, but I wanted to cover the charging tank destroyer. But after that ineffective charge, I have to find cover. Since the enemy was no longer putting pressure on the base, I decided to just wait for Cowboy Arizona to regroup before engaging. There's no reason to give up any extra hit points at this stage in the game. Yes, I did one damage on that shot. 
The enemy has a numbers advantage at the moment, so Cowboy Arizona and I need to go hunting before time runs out. I don't have any hit points to really spare here, so I'm waiting for Cowboy Arizona to catch up so we can engage this AT-7 together. Cowboy Arizona's got more hit points right now, so he's going to take the lead. And then I'll just take the flank, which works out far better for my damage per minute anyways. A simple but successful tag team. Now it's time to go hunt the artillery. So now Cowboy Arizona and I are both on low hit points. We're just gonna go for the base capture. That French artillery is way too fast to catch. There's not enough time and neither of us can take a big hit from him. It ended up being the right decision since at one point he was all the way back at our base. And we literally had only one second to spare on capturing the base. That's some Mission Impossible timer action right there. Now let's check the post game stats and see how we did. For this game I earned 59,000 silver with 75,000 silver from an op, so I actually lost some that game. I was using way too many premium shells there to get the win. And earned 5,912 experience with a 2 times daily bonus and 500 from an op. In this game I dealt 3,443 damage, assisted with 208 damage and destroyed 4 enemies while blocking 1,410 damage. This earned me a mastery badge first class and brothers in arms. I placed second on my team, earning a base XP of 1,804. I managed to hit 27 of my 34 shots and penetrate 18 of those. And Cowboy Arizona had a monster game with 2,112 base XP, 3,863 damage, 946 assisted damage, and destroying 5 enemies while blocking 3,045 damage. Cowboy Arizona kept his gun very active there and absorbed 22 shots. A great display there of using the Minuteman to its full potential as a top tier heavy tank. In terms of crew and module damage, I damaged the engine and destroyed the fuel tank in the T-34-100 and damaged the engine in the hammer. Well that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing that game with the Slapjack. I thought the Slapjack and Minuteman made a pretty cool combination there. Cowboy Arizona took the bulk of the fighting head on and that allowed me to work a little more on the outside so we were able to take advantage of our tank strengths while still being able to cover each other. Stay tuned for more Awesome World of Tanks videos.